Welcome to Paraphrase. Paraphrase is a web-based translation management system for enterprises, and one of its features is the ability to translate a scanned document from one language to another while retaining much of the original layout and formatting. But in order to get an accurate translation of a scanned document, it needs to be readable by Paraphrase. Otherwise, the PDF translation will be in gibberish instead of your target language. This is where OCR and resolution come into play. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, and this is the technology that allows your computer to read text characters in any image or PDF. OCR needs to be applied to your scanned document before you upload it to Paraphrase. If you have access to the original file, ideally you would start by scanning it in again at a higher resolution. The higher the resolution, the better. Aim for a 300 to 600 dpi resolution. 300 dpi is the minimum resolution you want to aim for. This means your file size will end up a little bit more than one megabyte per page. Otherwise, it might not be readable enough, even if it visually appears to have great resolution when you look at the file on your computer screen. Before you upload a scanned document to Paraphrase, you need to A. Set the scan at a high enough resolution to be read by Paraphrase. Again, aim for 300 to 600 dpi, and B. Apply OCR. Some scanners automatically OCR your document as you scan it in as a PDF, but many others don't. It's safer to assume that yours doesn't. For those that don't automatically OCR your document, you'll need to download Adobe Acrobat and open your scanned document with the program. Then, you'll need to apply OCR to the scanned document within the program. To do this, navigate to Tools, then select Enhanced Scans. Next, find the Recognized Text dropdown, click it, and then select In This File. Click the Recognize Text button. Always make sure the language setting is correct. In this case, the source language is English and the default setting is English. So we're all set. However, you would need to change the language if your source language wasn't English. Next, save the file and then you can continue to paraphrase to upload it. This process will help you achieve a higher quality translation because the source file will now be set up to be read properly by paraphrase. Navigate to Paraphrase and select the source and target language for your translation. Then, choose your optimized file. When the file has finished uploading, click Translate File. When the file is done translating, you will be brought to the Active Documents tab. Once the status says Draft, you can hover over the gear icon to the right and select Download Original. This will show you how Paraphrase has read your PDF. Even though this file has been OCR'd, you can see there are still some misinterpretations. For instance, there are a couple of spaces missing here and there. However, most of the file characters have been interpreted correctly, but this just goes to show you how fragile scanned documents are. This is why we recommend getting your hands on the original digital file that was used to create the printed document, if possible. In the case that you have characters to fix, you can adjust them within the document you just downloaded, and then re-upload the same document you just fixed for a second go at the translation. Now, we'll take a look at an example of a problematic file that will produce a failed translation attempt. Aside from low resolution, problematic files often include watermarks such as the word confidential across the front of the page, text showing through the back, often in the case of double-sided documents, or lots of images. The more images you have on a file, the trickier it's going to get. With more complicated layouts, such as graphs, the formatting quality of the translated file isn't going to be anywhere near as good as the quality of a file that only contains text. A file that is less than 300 dpi resolution, or has at least one of the other attributes we discussed, will result in paraphrase reading the file as if it's in gibberish. To demonstrate, we'll upload a poor quality file and show you how paraphrase reads it. You can see that the file I'm about to upload has a low file size. This is just one indicator that a translation might not be successful. Once the file has processed and translated, you can check the translated file. We'll go to Active Documents, hover over the gear icon, and click Download Translation. As we open the file, 
you can see that the target language text looks like gibberish. Again, this is because the file we uploaded was a poor quality file. Now, we can check to see what went wrong by downloading the original file. As we open it, you can see that the source text looks like gibberish. Essentially, if the source text is read by paraphrase as if it is gibberish, the actual translation is not going to be anywhere near accurate. We hope this tutorial helps you translate scanned documents more successfully and accurately. Please visit paraphrase.com to learn more about our web-based translation management system for enterprises.